How to lower myostatin levels without YK11. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. Today we are talking about how to lower your myostatin levels without the usage of SARMs, uh, the SARM YK11. As a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever, I don't pretend to be a doctor, don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion on how I see things, always go to a doctor before using any form of supplements. Now, as some might know, but let me tell you something, a whole lot of people don't know is that low myostatin levels are a part of the anabolic pathway with all sorts of growth factors. So missing out on any of these growth factors could be a big waste of muscle gain so in my opinion you want to take care of all these tiny factors in order to when you're really trying to build muscle the fastest way the easiest way the healthiest way and you know just to get the most benefit out of the entire process now myostatin is an inhibitant growth factor uh, for muscle growth like i said just as testosterone insulin growth hormone igf1 and whatsoever as well it's a mutation in cows in the species belgian white blue as you can see these cows are way different than all the other cows they are massive and shredded and actually pack on a lot of lean muscle mass for a damn cow this is because the belgian white blues myostatin levels are significantly low and lower than in other species of cows so now you guys see what a low myostatin level can do now lots and lots of studies are done on lowering your myostatin levels there have been lots of trials and studies on rats and mice and whatsoever and as you can see the muscle mass and the bone density in these animals has extremely improved so when i first saw this i was really impressed and i know you guys are too so keep watching i mean this thing like myostatin could this be the next best thing that we bodybuilders to be don't know about or is it actually even possible to lower these myostatin levels without the usage of SARMs of the SARM YK11? Now, why lower your myostatin levels in the first place? I mean, as you guys obviously have seen in the pictures, it has proven to increase muscular development, increase bone density, and boosting performance and strength. Now, lowering myostatin levels is not something that is actually 100 percent unknown lex wheeler was also one of the top notch bodybuilders talking about a myostatin deficiency now there are two supplements i'm going to talk about today which you can take to lower human myostatin levels and then there is one specifically that i want to highlight today the first one i'm going to talk about is a sarm like i said which is yk11 which is also known for its myostatin reducing properties and let me be honest in my opinion this is by far the best way to decrease your myostatin levels like the fastest way possible okay but i understand that some of you guys might not want to try taking SARMs or whatsoever so so the one thing i'm going to highlight today is one ingredient which is actually natural yes natural guys you heard it right and it's found in food and it's something people consume a lot and i know you won't believe me when i say it but it isn't going to stop me from saying it the ingredient i'm talking about is found in chocolate and cacao actually this all natural ingredient i'm talking about is apicatechin or however you call it which is a flavonoid the flavonol apicatechin enhances exercise capacity in ap rich cacao uh improves skeletal muscle structure it's actually an antioxidant flavonoid as well and like i said it's found in cacao and dark chocolate like i said now supplementing this apicatechin on a daily basis can and will lower your myostatin level as well as the increase of strength studies have shown that two milligrams each kilogram of body weight will increase strength by seven percent guys and we all know that more strength is more gains. Apicatechin is also great for boosting endurance and overall performance when taken on a daily basis. Now, you can eat a whole lot of dark chocolate, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. I know Enhanced Athlete sells AP Muscle. I know my local exercise nutrition store sells Myoblock. There's enough products on the market. You just have to find them and have the right knowledge about it. Then you guys might be wondering, what about side effects? I mean, that's probably what everybody wants to know all the time, right? Side effects. Well, this is a natural side supplement guys so you won't have any side effects i mean would you get any side effects from eating dark chocolate i don't think so maybe some diarrhea from eating uh bar after bar you know but that will be it now as far as the dosage goes uh like i said it's two milligrams each kilogram of body weight and you should take this on a daily basis 
I do this myself. I take uh, a myostatin inhibitor as well on a daily basis. Uh, so I keep track of the growth hormone levels, the, uh, the anabolic levels, the IGF-1 levels, my insulin levels and whatsoever. I try to do everything right. I sure you can build muscle while using something anabolic. I sure you can build muscle while, you, while using insulin or whatever. But you got all these types of growth pathways and you want to take care of all of them so you get the most out of the cycle or the most out of the health benefits or whatsoever so adding apicotecan which is a myostatin inhibitor uh, on a daily basis to your diet is really really good to to increase muscle mass and bone density like i said and it works i really believe in myostatin so what do you guys think tell me if you believe in myostatin i'm really curious um, do you use myostatin inhibitors? Have you heard of Ipecacetacin before? Uh, you eat a lot of dark chocolate or whatsoever. I hope this information comes in a little bit handy for you guys. Um, that was it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Go to Anabolic TV by Enhanced Athletes. Subscribe there as well. Check out my Facebook, my Instagram. Follow me there as well. I got a Spotify playlist as well. Go to Pinterest. I got a page there as well, guys. Thanks a lot for the support and for watching again, guys. It's the white boy from the yard and I'm out.